Hello friends, I am back. I've got all kinds of hauls for you today. Slamming it all in one video for you. I went to Target, went to Walmart, went to Sharp Shopper. Was hoping to get to Dollar Tree. Wasn't able to squeeze that in, but uh, look at what mama got. Okay guys, so here is the Target table. Now, my kids, they love these little butterfly nets. We haven't had them recently. They were a dollar each. I bought five. Also, we have some Sandy Adventures coming up soon and our lake opens up, all those fun things. So Target has these hand diggers, a toucan digger. It was $3 and you see by the picture they put their hand in. And so we've got the toucan, we've got the flamingo, and then we've got a shark. I just got these for a family collection, no particular children named uh, for each item. Obviously I didn't get enough for that anyway, but I uh, was telling the kids, it's for everybody. Anywho, uh, Daniel has been asking for one of these little bug houses. So they only had one. I picked it up, but that's what I wanted to get to Dollar Tree for some more of this kind of just fun stuff that'll be around for a little bit. Um, also for all the fun sand play coming up, these, we call these little uh, sand factories. They call this a beach tool set. So they got a sand mill, several molds, and then it has a rake and a shovel. I think we got four molds in there. And this was $3. I got a second one. Then I got this. It's a, it says it's an eight count beach pool bucket. Looks like we got a sand sifter in there. Little bucket with a poor spout. We got some of our beach toys from last summer, but we needed fresh. Really, I thought I'd get a lot of this at Dollar Tree but since target had it yay target so these were really cool i never i've never seen these before and i got three of them three different dinosaurs they're dinosaur sand molds with tools so this is the triceratops and we got a shovel and some rakes in there actually two shovels and a little bag to keep it in and then, which, you know, ha ha on that. Uh, this is a Stegosaurus one with the molds. And then this one is a T-Rex, super popular. Again, these were $5. And then this looked fun. They only had one of those, but it's like every part of this little wagon is something they can do in the sand. See how they've got little patterns on the wheels. It's got a shovel. And then, I didn't realize this until I looked at the tag. See, they can fill it with the sand. Uh, they can use it as a mold for a larger sand house. So just super cute and fun and exciting stuff. Amelia has a friend with a birthday this weekend. So here are some gifts for her. It's this cute little puppy house. Comes with all of these fun accessories. It says a real little chalkboard on the collar. Then we got this little puppy that has a leash with it. And here's the fun little bag Amelia picked out. And she picked out an Ariel doll, some tissue paper. And then I had another friend send us a gift card for Tobin. And so I went ahead and got two boxes of size one. I really think we might get through one more box of size one before I need to go up to size two. But then and I was there. So it's really taking me a little too long to decide if I wanted one box of size one or two. And then Naomi reminded me, you know what, if you don't use the second box before going up to size two, you can give the other box away. Thank you, daughter, for helping me think. I appreciate that. And then two more things of baby powder. Also, I got some fresh mama clothing. Target had these dresses and they're, they're loose, you know, because again, my joke, postpartum joke but yet reality postpartum mom life you know I just want to wear a bag so these dresses kind of let me feel like I'm dressing pretty but they're not too clingy and I appreciate that target dresses okay so not the best lighting but you see it's got the seam up higher so it's not not clinging down lower gives me room I can actually get it over to get my baby under and nurse underneath and kind of use this like a cover. And then, so um, how I am, classic girl thing, you know, you get one you like, let's get four. So you'll see these a lot. So I got another one in this pattern. Basically, they're all different patterns with pink. So it'll look like I'm wearing the same dress <laughs> all summer. And that's okay, the rest are in my room. And then I also got two fresh shirts. 
which are also in my room, but that's okay. Stay with me. We got more stuff coming up. Okay, so now we will get to all this sharp shopper good stuff. Now I will say, hold in my bag of Boom Chicka Pop, that we have an upcoming super mega trip coming up. It's been about three years since our family has taken a big vacation. We've done little trips and such, but like big, big couple weeks. So these snacks are what we are packing and taking along. Now my plan is, see we don't get to do fun things like Instacart where we live. Several of you have also asked me if the Walmarts in our area do grocery delivery. They do, but our our Walmart within our mile radius just started grocery pickup a year ago. They say that they're gonna also do delivery, which hey, I can't wait to try that as well. They're not doing it quite yet. One of the other houses that we had a contract on that fell through, their Walmart is doing grocery delivery. Come on, we missed out in that respect, but hopefully we'll get that and we'll give it a try. Instacart in our big city that's 20 minutes away, they do that all over. But again, out here on this corner of our country road, we don't have it. But on this trip, I plan to, but now we're taking all these snacks, you'll see. We got some great stuff here. I've never, some things I've never seen there before. I plan to, as far as like for our breakfast, lunches, and dinners, I'm having Instacart deliver meal ingredients. I don't want to haul a hamburger hours away, you know, all of that. So I figured they can bring it to our door. I did use it one time. Um, I was on a conference trip and I had an Instacart delivery brought to the hotel for some odds and ends and some snacks that I wanted in my hotel room. All that to say, this is upcoming trip stuff. Actually, this whole haul is. I don't know if I said that in the beginning. By the way, this is a big trip haul. Okay, now you know. All right, let's 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 look what I got. Okay, now, now we're looking at the table. Now things are going on. Let me get back here and give you the big overview. So yeah, a lot of kids, a lot of folks for a couple weeks. So these are, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> did I get enough? Huh, I don't think I did. We shall see though. Stay tuned for those videos. We'll, we'll psychoanalyze it all, right? But Amelia was super thrilled to see this trail mix. So we got four packs of it for $3.99. Got these mixed nuts. It's four pounds total, a pound each, $3.99. Then, you know, you see these all the time at Sharp Shopper. These big boxes of granola bars, $2.99. Two packs of animal crackers. We like getting these big bags. These will last us like two months, you know, just here for snack options at home. But these are $4.99. They'll have cashews and um, all kinds of nuts in there. I got this box of Perfect Cookie. I got this Perfect Cookie box. Not necessarily anything to write home about. I think it was $3.99 for the box. It reminded me similar to a Quest Bar, but not a Quest Bar. Anyway, here's what they look like since I went ahead and opened it. Again, not bad. I mean, it is what it is, right? So here I am making it sound bad and saying, yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> They'll be eaten. I'll eat them. We'll eat them. But anyway, yeah, okay. On to fruit roll-ups. So we got four, I'm sorry, two packs of mini fruit roll-ups. I mean, this might be that I give one every day with their lunch, you know, just like you'd get in a Lunchable or something. Dollar forty-nine each. Then we got five bags of Boom Chicka Pop. We just, we love this stuff and yay, 99 cents. Now I have never seen boxes of granola bars that big. That, I'm sorry, <laughs> I said granola bars. You know what I'm saying, Nutri-Grain. Have not seen the 32 bar boxes before and these were $6.99. They're dated for June 2nd and uh, they'll be gone. They'll be gone before then. Okay. Uh, don't know, you might not see this video till then, haha. Ha. But anyway, got a whole case of graham crackers for 99 cents. Also, two boxes of these Cheez Its. These are real little bags, but again, to go along like a little snacky side for it with a lunch or whatever. Everything else will be super duper. Have a, a mini roll and a little bag of Cheez Its, right? Okay, so those were $2.99 a bag. Then we'll go look and see what's in these boxes. Walking yawn over here. Okay, so this was, it's supposed to be a variety. I guess there's two different types of cheese that's in here. It was $5.99 a box. There's 42 pouches. So I already cut the tape off. We've got the original. Okay, then they got white cheddar. Oh, there's different ones in here. And then snap, then crispy. 
Mm, all kinds. Okay, what am I saying? Uh, cheddar and sour cream. Maybe I should. Now I'm like, I should have got more cases of these. But anyway, a whole box of those. And then these deals are so good for like family travels and such. Because like, you know, at a gas station, one pack of crackers can be a dollar. So these, we got a whole case of them, $1.99 a, a pack. I think we've got 12 packages in there. Okay. Then this whole box of 48 on the go packs of the mini pretzels were $3.99. And I do say pretzels incorrectly, although I may have corrected over the years. I used to say pretzels and it's pretzels, right? Something? I don't know, even in nursing school, one of the professors there made fun of me in front of the whole class for how I said it. Uh, but yeah, pretzels, all right, whatever. We shall get over it. 48 packs of these little mini pretzels and uh, got a whole box of them for $3.99. So these are my fun sharp shopper snacks for our travels and on my receipt i just had to go look at it this was 177 dollars, and our joke around here will say an 88 cents but whole lot of snacks whole lot of people this is for let's see 11 12 13 this is for 14 to 15 people for a couple weeks so like i said i don't think i got enough but this will get us this will get us going right it's a good base okay and then we got walmart haul and you know what <laughs> hashtag real life sharp shopper stuff we got somewhere we got to go out to now here real soon uh that's just gonna wait until tomorrow and then tomorrow we are packing so that's gonna get packed in the van yeah okay okay so it's like the joke um show me your homeschool Tell me you homeschool without saying you homeschool or however that phrase goes. Anyway, so a bunch of the kids, five kids actually requested tape for their crafting and projects. So I got each kid their own two rolls of tape. I'm not responsible for the tape. I'm not giving, I'm not taking care of the tape. I'm not babysitting the tape. I'm not keeping a hold of the tape. I am giving, gifting the tape to them and then they will go have their super mega fun with it and when it's gone it's gone and then later of course mom will buy more tape but there we go for five of the kids two rolls of tape then super cute thing daniel has been wanting more button-up shirts with pockets so he was with me at walmart last night we found this cute dinosaur shirt it's a size six and he is six and it was the see this one is $7.98 they're probably yeah both same price okay um and then this is the other one this one's got a little pirate guy on there i got all the kids new clothes about a week ago i did not film a haul of it so, you know sad to say i don't film everything but these are some fill-in things that were still needed like Daniel's request of his shirts with his pockets, and then he saw this Paw Patrol hat and asked if he could have it. I mean, of course, I told him you can have it, have it forever. Mommy's gonna film it, and then you can take it with you when you get married one day, ha ha. Uh, then I got him and Benjamin, because just like all my boys, we wardrobe share. Um, Benjamin and there's still a lot of size fives that fit Benjamin well and Daniel's kind of six going into six seven ish range so we can sliding scale back and forth but this is a three pack this brand at Walmart has had several three packs this year we got like the tang tops and such too for these boys um, but anyway so under 10 bucks for three shirts so that just adds into their haul then for Amelia I got her um, let's see these are size 10 shorts and I picked up a bunch, bunch of shorts for her that said 10 on the hanger, but they were 10 plus on the inside and the inside was not adjustable. They were just a little too loose. I also got her some adjustable waist ones, but anyway, so I got her four pair. We got pink, blue jeans, some flowers and some red. Uh, then of course, yes, for Mr. Tobin Josiah, for upcoming trip, I got him this cause it was beachy this because it has trucks on it and you know daddy's all about trucks and then just two more packs of onesies because can just never have enough onesies we got the koala bears there mommy's little hugger then we got cute little tiger or lion there i guess tiger right and animals and just nice plain one and then 
So I never, never know where to fall on this. I know uh, upcoming controversy, right? What in the world do we do about sunscreen? I don't know. Do you know? I get so confused by it. Anyway, I know we need sun for the vitamin D. I know we don't get a lot of vitamin D. I know we don't get any vitamin D in the winter. I've also seen these posts rolling through social media where, oh, I can't even tell you the brands, but I remember last summer, we got talking hand, last summer seeing pictures of kids with like big bubbles on them because their sunscreen, what was it? I don't know. Did they have a reaction to the chemicals? Did the sunscreen make their skin explode? Uh, were, was it not reapplied enough? It's just, it's always something, right? So... I usually grab something whenever we're going to the lake and the beach and we're all okay and nothing major's ever happened. But all that to say, this is the sunscreen I got, but I'm not an expert. And if you want to tell me something better to get, please do. This is what I picked up at Walmart last night. So I got two bottles of this um, SPF 100 water and sun protection supposed to be reapplied every 80 minutes i also got this lotion it's just situations you'd rather have lotion and then i got another bottle of after sun anyway um yeah sunscreen yes <laughs> then coat hangers coat hangers coat hangers now we have used and tried all kinds of coat hangers the best kind we've ever really used have been back from when travis was working you know 60 70 hours a week as an electrician he had uniforms a lot of times and the uniform service would always give us a lot of metal really thick metal coat hang metal coat hangers um we don't get those anymore i've tried every different hanger Walmart has and I just get back to these cheapest packs. I think these are like what 97 cents a pack or a dollar 97 of 10 Eventually, we'll break a handle off or something, but I probably think these were a dollar so each I'll go get my receipt here in a minute, but let, let's talk about coat hangers. So anyway, I got us five more packs because with the new clothes and there's still some last season clothes I need to pull out as we're working through things, um, now we need some more hangers. And then Mama will fill a couple bags from the thrift store, and then we'll have for the thrift store, and then we'll have too many hangers. But that's okay. There's the hangers. Yay. Uh, got more of my favorite Mama drink right now. Also, Amelia got her a fresh backpack. Her other one, the handle broke on it. I didn't want to get her a real big one. Um, they had one bigger than this, and it was cute. It was like a light green with little polka dots. Anyway, I know, just like me, she'll load it, and then she'll carry it around everywhere. So I got her. This one was actually smaller. It was $24 tie-dye. Kind of matches her Crocs for this summer. Um, she was excited about it. So, yes, this was our little quickie Walmart haul. Okay, friends, so now I hear my baby crying. Someone was holding him for me, and he's decided it's been two hours, Mama. We, we need to talk. So I'm going to go get my baby, and then we'll be off on our next adventure. I will see you very soon with another brand new video. Throw me your sunscreen recommendations if you would like in those comments. Hopefully it's something I could just get at Walmart or order on Amazon. Just think for me. Think for me. Make this decision. I appreciate it. I'll see you very soon with another new video. If you're not already, follow me over on TikTok. I know that this is a new thing, but it's been easy for me to make little videos on my phone. Like I can film a quick little video, edit it right then, and publish it, and it's up. YouTube is wonderful. I'm not going anywhere. So many people, whenever I do something new or add something new, it's don't leave YouTube. Don't. I'm not. I'm not. YouTube is a big process. Whenever I film these videos, then they go through editing and sometimes they have to go through approvals and it's just longer, longer upload times. Many times when I upload, it's two to four hours. Also, when I send my footage to editors, it's several hours. When I get a video back, it's just lots of back and forth. So if you would like to get short little quick videos from me, Follow me on TikTok. I will put that as the first link in the description of this video. I will also pin that link in the comments. And now, yet again, see you real soon with more videos. Bye-bye.